to the Eddy crossbow switch back. All right, here we go. On water review, the Letman Machete. Got the Letman paddle, the Letman boat. I'm doubled up on the Letman. Johan would be proud today. The knees are down lower. I had to actually pick up on that to get my leg under there. Outfitting feels solid. We'll see how it lasts. I'm pretty rough on outfitting. If it makes it down the river without breaking something, I'll be surprised. I'm gonna start out with a little flat water paddle. Okay, not much primary stability. Not bad on the tail. You can tell it's a little looser on these edges like that there's not a rail grabbing right there but i can i feel like i can throw it down let me get a little better angle and more weight throw there you go that's it but it wants to drop itself back down pretty fast Let's get it on some white water. Figure it out. This is not the easiest place to splat because there's no real current here. Woohoo! Oh, I like how it comes off the drop. Very smooth on the way it came off that rock. Very light in the front, and that's gotta be because it's not got much going on up there. Done, Dane. He's trying to learn how to play boat. It is my play boat. Oh yeah. I, I was gonna tell him if he bought it, please tell me he kept the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you kept the receipt to that damn thing. Oh yeah.
there's like no grab on that edge. When you're in this side circle, I'm like, I'm, I'm side circling, there's like no grab. I'm just holding, and I think what it's doing is coming off that, that flat sidewall. You're gonna like make this thing whip around. I can already tell the paddling style is a little different. See that? And then it gets on that sidewall and it just whips around. It's, it's hard to kind of keep it lined up straight. It wants to rock on these, on that V-style hull to initiate the loop. But if you can get it to go in flat, it definitely has to pop. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's see if this stupid drain plug works in this goofy location. There's definitely some coming out. definitely do that better. I blast ferry up to the eddy, cross bow switch back. Let's do it.
pull all that weight. There it is. The double lemon bounce. And then right into this cross bow 360. Cross bow 360 with a switch. I like how that bow gets up and over like that. everybody final thoughts on the Letman machete this boat does some things like nothing else I've ever paddled it seems to want to it's it's caught somewhere in between a river runner and a play boat I wouldn't say it's a full-on half slice even though I could get the tail down it doesn't want to balance on the tail it goes from side to side real quick but it does love to zip around the river it paddles something in between I would say the Zet Chili and the Waka Goat. It's somewhere in between those, which is not a bad place to be actually, because that's like a river runner that's a fast downriver. It's not, it's not super fast, but it's pretty quick and it's playful when you need it. You just have to earn it. And I really like the boat because I have to earn my play boating in it. It's not, it doesn't just have that auto button to get up on the tail. You have to really like have proper technique to get up on the tail and get those splats in. The bow, I like how the bow performed over holes and waves. It seemed to do everything 
really good. I like the boat. I liked how it paddled. It paddled, it doesn't paddle like anything else, any other half slice I've paddled. It's got a nice pivot point right in the center. So you can kind of like, look how easy you can spin it around. You know, I'm holding it and I can just spin around pretty quick. Really nice pivot point in the middle because that stern rocker's high. It can kind of run the river, it can play, it can surf, it can splat. I have looped it and I back looped it, which is absolutely crazy that I back looped a half slice because I think it's got so much volume right behind your, your hips there. It, it wants to pop up on that loop. I'm gonna keep paddling down. What did I not like about this boat? Um, what I didn't like, there was times that it did seem to get shoved around in that front edge up there. It did want to get shoved around. It wants to paddle more on that edge right here. It wants to either be on the right edge or left edge when you're going through rapids. It doesn't want to be back on that tail. I know it sounds crazy. It doesn't want to be back. It wants to be kind of forward. You can get back, but get your body weight back forward real quick. I would say more playful than the Steez and the Goat and more playful than the Chili. It's um, it's caught somewhere. It's not as playful as the Ripper 2 or the Rewind. It's caught somewhere in that weird category there which is not bad because it runs the river interesting. It runs the river different than anything else I've paddled out there. It's one of these, it's another one of these boats that you have to kind of drive it and be on it. You can't just lazy boy this and lay back like you're in a, in a lazy boy thinking it's gonna take care of you because this boat will not take care of you. You better be driving it. I love the tail load on this thing. You can come down and get those tail load booths over holes and waves. I was a little wonky with the outfitting, but I've been in it for five, six hours now and I feel comfortable in it. And if you haven't seen my full walkthrough, go check out my full walkthrough now. I'll leave a link at the end of this where I really broke down the outfitting and the shape of the hull and all that. But yeah, you guys leave in the comments if you've got one of these boats, if you've paddled it, what you think about it, if you like it, if it's a boat that you enjoy. I know it's been out for like a year now. They just now got here in the US, but there's not many of them. So this is a boat, if you're interested in one, you might want to get one now because I don't think they'll last very long. Let's, um, let's get out of here. See you guys next time. Woo!